I just parked, I'm in the parking lot of Wat Chantaram or Wat Tasung as it's called. Wow. You look at that tower, it's all it's reflective. Yeah, and it's um supposedly one of the most beautiful interiors of a temple in Thailand. I think the temple is on my left, so we shall go left and have a look. Uh, so they have this corridor full of Buddhas. You see that? Oh, that's pretty amazing. Okay. Obviously, I can't get up from here, so I have to find another way in. and walk the path of the Buddhas, of the Golden Buddhas. I'm walking back to where my car is and I think that's the one. So I have to get in through the front door. I guess this is it maybe? This temple <laughs> Dude, it's dazzling, you know, the sunlight hitting on the roof It's gorgeous Okay, I've never seen anything like this I just need to know how to get in. Don't tell me it's closed today, man. The sky is beautiful today, isn't it? Wow, clear skies. Hot as heck, but... Yeah, I'm walking into places where I'm not supposed to. Dude, I want to get in. I want to see what's inside. But it's closed. Yeah, I can't get in that way. But just look at this building, the design. It's modern, right? And uh, there's this like floor to ceiling glass panels and reflective tiles on the top and all around. Have a solid cap. Is it really closed? Let's go ask somebody. Damn! This is not closed. So I have to go in through that way. So yeah. Let's go, man. For a moment there, I was like, Oh, God, God, don't tell me. Don't tell me it's closed. This is the front. There's a guy who helped me and told me that it's open and that I go in this way, which is where? This is where I came from, man. Eh? No? Uh, put a car. Uh, inside, come on. Go in, temple. Uh, open. Open? Uh, yeah. One, oh, two o'clock. Okay, don't cap, don't cap, dude, dude. It opens in twenty minutes. Damn. Read the signs, man. Read the signs, James. Okay, I'll just head back to the van, chill out a bit for another twenty minutes, and we shall check out what Chantaram, aka what Tasun. I think that's it. Okay, right. Alright, it's open. So let's get in, man. <sighs> I'm so glad it's open. Oh yeah, it's only open from 9am to 11.45, I think. 
and from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. so I only have two hours yep 9 to 11 45 2 to 4 all right let's get in I don't know what she's saying. Oh, the shoes, the shoes. Okay. And I gotta wash my hands. So, yeah. This is the most modern temple I've seen. Oh, I see it already. Open cup. I get a QR code. Oh, yes. <laughs> Check this out. Never seen anything like this. Oh, this is cray cray, man. I'm going to get my face out of the way so you can see the real, the whole thing. It's kind of surreal actually. There are monks that you can get offerings from. There's the Thai king. Can I see myself up there? Oh, my reflection is there, just there. Cheers.
tap. The carpet has squares and that's where you're supposed to pray, kneel and pray. And the floors are polished so that you see the reflection on the, of the chandeliers. And on the side, they're lit up differently. I think they could be LED maybe. And the ceiling are mirrored tiles. This is definitely off the beaten trail because to get here it takes quite a lot like you know um, it's not Bangkok it's it's not that near to Aitaya and and probably that's why you don't see many visitors and tourists here most of them are locals Wow Beautiful statues. Do you get sofas to sit on too? I don't know whether you're supposed to sit on them, but yeah, I better not. So I'll tell you what it is after this. These people, they're all paying respects. The 
notice there are more people coming in now. Just take one last walk towards the Buddha, which is the other side. And let's go. I mean, the investment into this place, you can see, and obviously the benefactors are very generous because everything is new. You look at the speakers, you look at the PA system over there, right? Everything looks new, everything looks high quality, and a lot of care went into this. Let's check out the number of PA speakers all around. The sound, I wonder about the sound when, when there are sermons, uh, how it would reverberate in this hall, this hall of mirrors. Woo! <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I came. All right, I'm signing out, so yeah, I'll talk to you later. So I'm back outside. Wow, that was, that was a spectacle, man. So what I didn't mention in there, so the hall at one end was an image of the Buddha, and the other end is actually uh, people paying, well, so you pray to the Buddha and, and, and pay respects to the Buddha. Wait. Let me say that again. Praying in Buddhism, from what I understand, is slightly different from praying in, you know, um, like Christian Christianity and other religions, uh, because it's not praying to a god per se, and and it's showing respect to and reverence to a particular person or you know um, who have who have achieved uh, um, greatness and beyond what others do so a lot of times when you clap your hands together and you say you pray it's not like praying to a traditional monotheistic God it is a lot of times a sign of respect you know so yeah so anyways so at one end was like praying to buddha and at the other end was this platform that the people were showing respects to and it's actually a replica of the undecomposable body of the monk that brought this temple uh, uh, back into glory again because this temple was built during the Ayutthaya Empire and when the when the empire fell it went into it was neglected it went into disre disrepair and in fact the name of the this Wat okay uh, is Wat Chantaram but also uh, named Wat Ta Sung and, and Sung means logs like logs right and there were logs in front of the temple and that's that's how it's, it got its name and the monk or a renowned monk I can't pronounce his name and out of respect I'm not gonna try to but um, he came in and he rebuilt this place and he has achieved the, the level of um, enlightenment that his body doesn't decompose so inside it was paying respect to the monk and what he has achieved because Enlightenment is something that a lot of people will strive towards and a lot of us would believe and think uh, that it is out of our reach, right? So for, for those who have managed to s sacrifice and do all it took to basically get there, we show our respects, 
we show our reverence and we show our thanks for showing us that it can be done and for the sacrifices that you've made to be an inspiration to us all that's my interpretation uh, that's my interpretation um, it's not anybody else's it's what I understand from what I've you know read researched and learned I could be wrong but hey you know Oh, that that was heck of a spectacle. All right, latest man.